Earth is warming and human activity is the primary cause. Climate disruptions put our food and water supply at risk, endangering our health, jeopardizing national security, and threatening other basic needs. Uh, given the urgency of the situation, what policy steps would you be prepared to take as mayor so that La Crosse will do its part in addressing this global crisis? Well, again, I think um, the city has already started down that path to try to address some of those issues through our strategic plan for sustainability. Um, it's, it's something that I'm actually one of my most proud, if I can find it here, one of my most proud achievements at City Hall. Um, this plan here was a, was a cooperative effort between both the city and county government to identify the kinds of things that each organization could do to improve our overall, um, our overall environment. And it includes you know, bigger picture things when we're talking about transportation and talking about um, you know, neighborhoods, but then it also includes little things uh, like trying to improve energy efficiency in City Hall, um, you know, doing simple things like instead of printing on one side of a sheet of paper, you print on both sides and you save trees. I mean, it's all those kinds of things that we work together on with the city and county government to put together in this plan. And I'm proud because that, that plan has been implemented. You can actually go on the city's or the county's website and look at the electrical and natural gas usage um, of city buildings and see what they were back in 2006 and to see kind of the trending lines to be going up and up and up and now actually um, that electrical uses and natural gas usage is starting to go down, down, down. So those, those, those city buildings and again what we try to do as a community to make our neighborhoods and make our downtown more attractive places to live so that people will live closer to where they work and not have to commute so far I think are some direct things that um, we can do as a city, and again, as mayor, I would be very strongly supportive of that. Thank you. Um, I'm a late convert to the uh, subject of global warming. I like to make up my own mind. The last two winters have been pretty convincing evidence that something's wrong. But the surest way for me not to be elected is to tell you I liked our minus 30 degree winters. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. And I know that we haven't had them. I know that I, I love the sound of the snow under your feet when it's 30 below. I love it. All right. But I, as a result, I know that we have not had it. I can't tell you. We don't have air conditioning at our house. And uh, how's that for green, huh? <laughs> we don't have air conditioning. It's not me. It's my wife. So, uh, uh, But uh, I can't tell you the summers are warmer. Okay? They, they all seem hot to me. Uh, but I can tell you the winters are definitely warmer. Now, I, I think whoever asked this question, you've asked the question which you don't know how to answer yet. Everything that I see us doing seems to be playing around the edges. I don't know what the answer is, and this may be the great challenge that we have to face, and it may have choices that we don't like. I don't know that yet, um, but I am going to concede uh, that the last two winters have been remarkably warmer, very depressingly so. Um, and what the answer is, uh, we're still, I think as a society, we're still trying to find it. Thank you. Uh